Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making these little cadenzas, or some people might call them accordion journals. So these can actually be used for either scrapbooking, um, to put little photos in, or I actually do these and put a lot of my little artwork pieces in. Um, you can make these out of a variety of different materials. This one today I'm just using cardstock because I'm going to be putting um, pieces into this whereas I also use watercolour paper to actually put in and then work on um, to create one large image. So today I'm going to have everything pre-cut. So the first thing I'm going to use, I'm going to make a slightly bigger one. This one is a three and a half inch by three and a half inch and then the paper inside ends up being three inch by three inch. So today I've cut these out so I'm just using um, chip card, chipboard, you can use recycled material. This actually came off the back of um, a book of paper that I had purchased previously. Um, I've cut these particular ones out to four and a half inches by four and a half inches. The other thing that you'll need is some paper. So I need to use up my six by six scrapbooking pads. So I've just taken two sheets out of there. These are actually six and a half by six and a half, so we don't need to cut those down, and that's going to be our cover. You could use material, um, other books that have made in the past. I've also used um, wallpaper, which makes a really fantastic cover. So we've got those bits there, and the next thing that we need will be some cardstock. So these ones are. 12 inches by 4 inches so these are going to make three individual pages so it ends up being four by four so I've got three that I've cut out and that's the third one that we're just going to fold up okay and we'll get started okay I've got my scoring board out so today I wanted to have everything ready for you, so that's why everything is cut out the size um, that I needed. And I'll put a description down below of the actual sizes there again, um, just to save a little bit of time. So with these, this is the 12 and it's then by 4 inches. So we are going to score at 4 and Eight and four and eight. So you would do that to all three pages. As I said, I've already done that to one already. We'll just put this away. And all I'm going to do now is just folding these over and just scoring the edges. end up with three little sections, four by four each. With one of these, just so I can get, um, I'll show you with this, because I want to be able to have each one of these glued down on the same side. Um, this one isn't, so you see what I mean, so when you open it up I prefer to have this down, so what we're going to do is cut one little square off so we can actually get an even amount straight across. 
So I'm just going to use my trimmer. And I'm just going to cut one tag off. Save that for later. So some of these will be need to have a little bit of a trim. Let's have a look at the way that they actually fit. So I want them so they're not hanging all the way over the edge. So they're going to sit in as such. And such. Okay. So you see there. I'm quite sure if you can see. So I've got this little part that's sticking out a little bit higher. So what I'm going to do is just trim off just a little bit. on either side so this is basically the one with the two cards is going to be the one that joins in the middle so that sits better and I'm going to take a little bit off this edge sitting nice and square and I'm just going to trim that final one. You don't have to trim, you can have them looking a little bit rough and ragged around the edges. I just want to make sure that they sit a little bit flush within the journal. So it ends up being nice little square as such. So I'm going to put those aside. We're going to make the cover so it can sit to the edge. Okay, so we've got that bit of card. Um, as I said, that's a recycled bit off the back of a paper pack. Um, you could go to the scrap back in, scrapbooking store and get um, some chipboard to make these. Okay, with these boards, I'm just using a bit of PVC glue, which I may need a new bottle soon. I'm just putting a generous amount on. So from here I just grab a brush, I want to make sure that I smooth all the way to the edges and I've got no lumps or bumps in the actual glue. So just spreading that out nicely, just painting through. Summer has finally hit us, it's been dreadfully hot and we've been having big storms again with the heat. Well, it seems reasonably pleasant this morning, it's building up in the humidity again. And it's okay to go over the edges. You can see there that it's just a nice light covering. So I'm going to take one of my pages. If you've got a pattern that needs to be centered, you can take more care, but I'm just going to drop this down in the middle. So flip that over, and I am just going to give it a nice firm rub right to the edges. So 
You can almost see the well, you can see the edge in there. The chipboard underneath. Now if you're going to use something firm, um, sometimes if I'm using a cloth or something a bit heavier, I'll actually use the back of a spoon to rub. Um, don't try using anything small to rub, you'll end up um, pushing the glue around and you'll actually get marks within it. So if you use something like a spoon, and just use the back end of it and just pushing down. I just find it centric enough to actually just rub my fingers over that. So that's that one. Okay, so we've got those two covered. So in the next step, I'm going to cut out the corners. I'm not going to take it right up to the very edge. I'm going to leave um, approximately around about an eighth of an inch, just over a millimetre down to the actual corner. Now I'm not going to cut too widely, I'm only going to take it in just at a little angle. If you take it in too widely, when you go to fold, instead of getting a neat edge such as that, this is probably something I did many many years ago, you can actually see there that if you cut it in too fine and right to the very edge, you'll end up with this little gap. Um, this was more of a practice sort of journal so I wasn't too worried um, and that's, as I said, that's been put on watercolour paper. And just with a little bit of watercolour and just a little bit of doodling in the journal. So, as we said, you can see that there's going to be a little bit of a gap. You can see, not quite to the edge, and just at that right angle. I really like these little journals, they're very versatile. So I said you can actually put, I've seen people make these and put um, photos in them. They make fantastic gifts for birthdays, for grandparents, um, or even with Christmas presents. So we're going to cut those out just like that. So we've taken off those edges. Um, I am just going to use my old scoring knife and also the art glitter glue. Um, you could use any glue that you want. I prefer with these to create um, the really good edges and to stay for a while. I use glue, I don't use the sort of tape. See it to the edges. And just in the middle. And just help me get a nice crisp line, just using that knife. And bringing everything in. So I'm going to work on opposite sides. Just so everything fits neatly. Just using a cloth there because I'll have little bits of the glue just coming up through the edges.
see by just having that little bit of an edge off makes it nice crisp fold and we have that so I'm going to glue the other one up as well then I'm actually going to put these aside to allow them to dry as you can see they do buckle a little bit so I'm just going to be putting um, a nice heavy book one of my dictionaries down on that so um, it can actually just dry flat and that's just going to take about an hour or so just to dry nicely okay so we have our three bits and this one here is going to be our joiner so uh, with one of our sheets I'm just going to be running this down just making sure I come right to the edges just taking the one with the two so that's going to be our join for the middle and just slipping this on making sure it's nice and even just remember if there's any little hangovers you can actually trim those down later <coughs> So you can see that they trimmed that back so it's not going to um, encroach on that folding it's a little bit over but I can trim that back down there so that fits there nice and snug so the same process here so we're going to glue this down so this is still the one with the just the two edges not the three yes it's just going to sit down over the top once again just making sure it's into the groove and that's sitting nicely so you can see there that we have now everything is sitting up folding nicely so this is why I wanted everything to actually um, come together just on that one edge so it just folds in nicely so that's sitting nice and flush I'm happy with that don't need to really trim that off anywhere so the next bit is grabbing our covers again so I have had them sitting off to the side with a nice heavy object um, on top of a nice heavy book so they are naturally nice and flat now without any sort of bend so <clears throat> if you had um, printable images on here such as maybe patterned roses um, please at this point make sure that when you actually go to put your book in for example my book's going to fold out this way so if I had prints on this side that it actually matted where my pattern went this would be the opportunity to check to see where you put that on but for this one it's just a very simple generic pattern there so basically I'm not going to 
um, get too concerned where this sits. I'm just going to eyeball just to see that it sits roughly in the middle. So all I need to do is glue this down. Just roughly in the middle. It's one thing that I like with the glue is that I have just a little bit of wriggle room, unlike um, using um, double sided tape. Once you've put that down, it's down, so even if you're a little bit off, you can't really move that. So that is sitting okay for me. So you can see there now I can pull that out and it's going to sit quite nicely. I'll show you when we finish this in comparison to the other journal where I didn't make it even. How it's just a little bit off. When I was making the other one for a demonstration, I uh, didn't wasn't really thinking about it. So with this one, um, I am just going to drop this over so it's more in, just to make sure it's in line with the other cover when it's sitting square. So let me open this up. See that's relatively sitting straight on you. And I'm just going to take those edges of blue so when this gets folded out you can see it sits nicely like that whereas this one you can see and you can have it like this just that today I just wanted to have one that I could actually work up and have one whole story um, on that one side so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six on that side, and just the four on that side that would be exposed. So there we have our little cadenzas, quick and simple. And then you can just add either your artwork inside, such as that one I've started with, or you can actually put um, images into this as you go. So I hope that's helped, and I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for coming back and watching my video. I hope to see you again next time.